in Ebony. Yemers have started, but not much else is going on. I want to look at the Shalons matchup, see how broken the system is. Uh, Ebony's got to fix this. I know I suffered through this. Uh, last Shalons, was it last Shalons or the ones before with Neff where we were defending champions and uh, we didn't even make it to the next round. We were 4-0, but we faced four layup matches with no points available and we just couldn't advance there's just you know anyways let's take a look here we got city ultimate the c4 champion and we got a wi-fi issue going on so just switch to mobile data at work sometimes i got some concrete walls around me and uh cuts out anyways uh we're gonna look at the c4 and c3 situation so we got city ultimate everyone's favorite new top gun in ebony has uh, 10 fully ascended sub generals city ultimate server 812 then we got c3 champion server 533 Shirosura. Let's take a look at Shalons. Let's take a look at C3 and 4 in particular. And we'll go to Major League here. We got to go all the way down to 28th place to find City Ultimate. NWO, server 812. He's 131,000 points. And that puts him 30,000, 40,000 points out of 16th place. So if he doesn't start getting some good matchups, that guy's not going to make... The Sweet 16 for Shalons. How unfortunate is that? Now, if we look at C3, exact same thing. Let's look at Major League. Let's go find Shiro Sura. And he is five, server 533 in 29th place. 192,000 points. 30,000 points out of 16th place. But also 13, 14 teams out. Got to pass them. So server 2 and 1, I know a lot more about. Uh... Don't have to look up who the past champs are. I think it was Don't Coin, a.k.a. Singh, who won uh, C2. And they are in 11th place. And I don't think anyone doubts that RSP is the best alliance in all of Ebony. There's no reason why anybody should be 100,000 points ahead of them. Um, Ebony, I know that last night they got 130,000 points, RSP. And I know from being in Neff that season when we got no opponents... 130,000 points basically means you held buildings for two hours. That's it. No PvP points at all. So really unfortunate for them. And if this happens again, they'll, they'll fall like to around here. 22, 23. And then that final week, it's like we hope we get an opponent and there's nothing you can do. And let's uh, look at some of the other big teams up here in C2. Uh, Vig, they're 428. They recently were featured on one of my uh, videos. They're looking for two new new owners. Uh, Knights of 350, they're a good one. And let's go over to ATK, Sir Philip. He's in 14th place. This is obviously one of the better players in Ebony, maybe the best account. Who knows? Uh, there's quite a few names up there for that, but he's in 14th. Okay, like there, this is uh, obviously not how it's meant to be. Now we go over to C1 and Apex Predators, APX in first, 762,000 points. Hold my beer in seventh. They are a nice, fast alliance. Game of Thrones, they're the new uh, hot young... Uh, Bucks in C1, they're in ninth place. They just came up from C2. They were probably the second best to RSP there. Let's look for Nefarious, my old alliance. 16th place, just hanging on. This is, Neff is probably in C1 right now. Top two, I would think, with GOT. And they're just hanging on. 3,000 points above not making it. IMO, they're... Uh, Good Alliance on server 55. Who else we got down there? Don't recognize uh, many there. HOT, that's a good alliance. Server 164. GOW 212. Lots of good alliances. Ape, wow. 34th place. This is actually like one of the alliances that I consider the best in all of Ebony. They just are a little small on power, but they were finalists in Last Chalons in C1. These guys are so fast, so good, and it just comes down to who you match up against. So I wish they would have uh, some sort of algorithm where 
Okay, after the first round, you're undefeated. Now in the second round, your matchups are going to be a little tougher, but you don't necessarily have to face an undefeated team. In the third round, everybody should face one undefeated team. So maybe uh, the first place team will face the last place undefeated team right here. So they would face NME in 50th place and 49 would face two. And then you match up the rest. And then in the final round, in round four, no undefeated team, there cannot be, you cannot end with, six 17 undefeated teams or you try not to so everybody every under if there's more than 16 undefeated teams they have to face each other in the final round i'd like to see that so even if evany adds another round maybe they just go four rounds and then a fifth round it gets rid of all the undefeated teams but i think you could do it in the fourth round uh anyways that's my thoughts i think that they should there should not be 50 teams undefeated, and then you go to a point tiebreaker, which is just a random draw. So I wish Ebony would fix that. I wish they would also fix the time zone. There's tons of good teams. I bet if we scroll down here, if I cared to look, I'd probably find some really good teams down here who just have time zone issues. And European players, some don't want to wake up at 3, 4 a.m. to play in Chalons on a Wednesday when they have to work the next day. Uh, it's completely unfair. Certain time zones have an advantage. Uh, anyways, problems. Ebony's got to fix. They don't care to because they make a lot of money. But I guess we'll see what happens going forward. I've made these suggestions about time zones forever. If they had continents based on time zones and you play each other in there in large events such as All-Stars. So at least on the weekdays. And then on the weekends, you could have your 11 p.m. North American time, which sucks, but you know it's noon for China and everybody can meet there on the weekend when people have more flexibility around their uh, personal life. So anyways, let me know how your shalons are going for you. Are you getting, uh, are you doing well? Are you having fun? Here's mine. We are in the elite league. We are in eighth place and it's actually not that fun. I was on C1 in the Elite League one season, and it was tons of fun. But we're actually too good now. So me and another guy in the Alliance, we are all-star finalists, and we have two other people in the Alliance with all-star dragons. And we're just way too good for the Elite League. It's not fun at all, but we get good rewards. Uh, it's accidental. We ended up there. There was a merge that fell apart, and we went back to – or they went back, and I went with them – to an alliance that didn't accumulate points during the qualification period. So that's why we ended up in the elite league. But uh, even still, you look at that, I would, I would guess that we're by far the best team here and we aren't in first and it's because matchups we haven't faced. I don't think we've had more than two opponents on the battlefield at the same time against us that were over 1 billion in power and nobody was over 2.2 billion so that's how small of pvp points we're getting so anyways uh gangas like subscribe leave a comment